Clyde, uh, yeah. I, I hope we still can. recover. We'll make sure we sort it out so we can hear you crystal clear and make the listeners, you know, so much aware of exactly what's happening. Yeah, so we che we're Clyde's checking on the phone lines again. Clyde, yeah. are you there? Let's hear your song. You there? All right, so we, yeah, it might we'll be. We'll to turn up the, the pattern from, from, from inside. So right, definitely so. Yeah, man. All right, Clyde, what a year it has been for 2020. And of course, like we mentioned earlier on, we're definitely putting it into perspective. So many things happen, so many twists, so many turns. Um, you know, a lot of industry, including our very own entertainment industry, suffered major blows from um, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, just walk us through to the, at least the first section before we even dissect fully. And what are your views in general on 2020? Well... It was a tumultuous year. To say so the many least. things yes. did happen, and so many things could not happen. Mm -hmm. uh, it allowed us to take stock of that which is essential, because there have been many things that we have been doing over the years in terms of even how we package entertainment that have been basically superfluous. And what has happened is that we have come down to what is really essential, what is necessary. And I think going forward, we're going to see a stark difference in how we do many things. So in terms of the, the rise of the virtual presentation, I think that is going to be something that will be here with us. Um, I suppose you might have the hybridized kind of packages where you have live and virtual and so on and so forth. But I think the, the, the virtual is something that is definitely here to stay. And um, I think people are going to see how best they can monetize this. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, the, the, the pandemic, you, you, you can't overstate its impact on on entertainment because um, a number of venues, events have been shuttered. Uh, there were some that were able to survive virtually. Um, some fest, uh, I think, did quite well uh, in terms of how it presented itself. Uh, and um, subsequently, there was Sun Splash, uh, so that was a good thing, you know, a, a, a vintage event coming back. Uh, but in the main, you know, most things were shuttered. Mm. Um, you really couldn't get the events in the traditional format. And I know there is great expectation that this year uh, we'll be able to see a return to some of these events. You can't speak of 2020 without making reference to this. Yes, go ahead, Clive. A, 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 Cedric, a, 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 a Frederick Toots Hibbert. Yes, for uh, sure. You know, um, somebody like um, Bob Andy, um, Striker Lee, uh, you know, Dalton Brownie, and the list goes on. Darby Dobson. Barry O'Hare. Barry O'Hare, mm -hmm. of course. You know? Um, so, and we could we could go on and on. on. And on. Mm -hmm. and some of that was, was, was due to the pandemic directly, and others might have been indirectly due to the pandemic. You know, because maybe the treatment regimen that they were supposed to have they could get them because of the pressure on the system due to COVID. So the, the, the pandemic it definitely reached into a number of areas um, and um, was very disruptive. I mean, on a positive side, I, I, I would want to make reference to, to Versus. You know, um, that was one of the byproducts of the of the pandemic, you know, that that event, you know, yeah. that feature. And um, I think what happened with the being a man bounty killer uh, appearance on mm -hmm. on that show, um, it 
definitely demonstrated a number of things mm -hmm. about Jamaican music and the acceptance of Jamaican music, even though it is not sometimes regularly heard on mainstream media, it doesn't mean that it doesn't enjoy an immense amount of popularity. Yes. And I think that lesson is something that is worth noting, you know, because a lot of times we think that Jamaican music and Jamaican artists, you know, being a man and bounty don't sell millions, you know, but when you look at the respect and the, the love for these artists, then, you, you know, you've got to really give credit to that. You know, um, there were other artists who um, made their, their mark. I mean, Coffee has been out there and she's doing quite well uh, despite the lockdown. Right. Uh, she is making her mark. Um, there are others, you know, we, we saw um, people like, like Lila, Lila I see, and Savannah and, mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that group with Protégé. Um, they have been doing their, their thing. And, you know, there, there, there are other accents there. It's, 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 it's doing well. There are some acts that are emerging, you know, the Silly yeah. Bang and Dance, um, that, you know, we see them. Um, yeah. And, and, and we watch what they are doing. Um, yes. Um, yeah, Clyde, they, you know. Basically, yeah, we're pretty much on point as it relates to, um, you know, exactly some of the things that we're really seeing currently. And it's a good way to segue to, um, you know, ask you, Clyde, what advice would you give to, like, entertainers and, you know, industry insiders going into 2021? How would you say they approach this year based on what happened in 2020? What I think entertainers have to be mindful of is how do they provide themselves with a cushion for adversities like these. Uh, this, some will think, is a one-off event that you, know, you might never see again in your lifetime. Uh, but I think it is sobering. And as a result, I would think that we should take a serious look in terms of, I would think that, for one, there should be a fund that the, the entertainment entertainers should contribute to that will allow them, you know, and it can be invested. You know, you have this money and it's invested, whether it's the, I mean, <laughs> it's not cool, not Barita, or whatever, combination of all of them. And what you do is, you know, you use the, the, the earnings from these investments, I mean, to do things like, I mean, providing relief for mm -hmm. artists in these times. It's going to mean that the mm -hmm. artists themselves will have to make sacrifices. And it is a case of their putting into a fund and then making sure that that fund is able to take care of them. I think, that, you know, because yeah. you're going to have to think a little bit outside the box. And um, it shouldn't be that you're looking to the government to say, boy, the government is helping you know, because yeah. we make a contribution and thing and thing and all of that. All right. You know, Clive, I totally agree with what you're saying. And one of the things also, and I think it's something that they need to look into even pre-pandemic, which is to save something for a rainy day and have something in their coffers, probably doing some investment, something that is a contingency plan in case of things drying up. We wanted to tell you thanks for making time to join us um, tonight because, um, you know, we really, really needed somebody with your sort of perspective, you know, with the kind of experience that you have in this business over sure. the years. And um, just keep being the star that you are, Clyde, in terms of... I remember now, we are proud of wearers, you know, so we... I don't want, we have to look. I don't know if that so, have anything to ask the conversation. But you, you, know? see, you see, I tell you something, you know, Maki. I say, I say Clyde, Clyde might have a few peers, you know. I think he probably has the store. <laughs> you know, Clyde has the store. Yeah, what? So, <laughs> but what? What? <laughs> but it's a good laugh for 2021. 
And with, with what is happening with all of what's happening and of course once again yes. we want to say happy new year to, to you Clyde and you know of Thank course we'll be hearing and, a lot and, more from you this year okay okay my brother all right Bone. all right Clyde <laughs> take care of yourself and be good and be safe take care of yourself and each other right your family also yes all the best all right Bone. take care yes yeah, man. respect <laughs> Clyde McKenzie there you go awesome um you know Always a passionate, always person a man who about music you know, who who knows quite a lot. I mean, <laughs> in terms of uh, our industry and, and and reggae and a lot of different um, aspects, he wears a lot of hats over the years. Yeah, and of yeah. course, people if people didn't know. I mean, back in the early days of Beanie Man, mm -hmm. Clyde was that shocking vibe, absolutely, and making sure so and molding the talent, talent. that was there mm -hmm. back in those years back. So. Clyde has really played an integral role Definitely. in this business over the years. So being a part of media over the years as well, and yes. so many other things. And he, you know? and he worked here, of also. course. Yeah. yeah okay. Was he the general manager? What was he? He was a general manager, or programs manager, one of the two. One of the two, right? Yeah. So you know what I mean. So big up to you, Clyde, and thank you so much once again. Yeah. Yeah. So we got some stuff coming up, as a matter of fact. Um, also, we'll be introducing some new features for this year, 2021. So stay tuned for that. Of course, there are so many different things, so many different elements of the entertainment package that we have in store for you. So keep it locked once again. I think it's about that time where we move forward for a commercial break. All right. And we'll take a break. We'll be right back with more right here on the eBuzz 2021. Stick and stay. Tile Arcade, see if you drive Lucy. We stock toilets, basins, granite countertops, porcelain, tin set, grout, doors, faucets, shower enclosures, glass, blocks, and so much more. Call us 810-9069, WhatsApp 807-8840. The time by Tile Arcade is... Now 850. 8.50. 8.50. <laughs> I refer breadfruit in the land of bread. No, man. All right, want to welcome you back to the E Buzz for 2021. And definitely, we've been putting a lot of things in perspective. But 2020, indeed, is one of the main things that we're looking forward to uh, highlighting and we're talking so much about. But I mean, it's about that time where you know so many things happen in social media for 2020. Right. So many highs, so many lows, you know what I mean? So many different things. So, Bones, I think it's fair enough right now that we just move forward to the social media packaging of 2021. Yeah, so we have a brand new feature. It's called Social Media Highs, highs and lows. lows with Shanice Williams and, and Tris and Wilson. So we, we go right now to Social Media Highs and Lows. Here we go. It's now time for Social Media Highs and Lows. Girl, you know see what going on social media last year? <laughs> then I want to really just witness. Like a heavy other day, them find something new for try. Them no mention my name, them no feel them not the light. It's your social media highs and lows. This week, it's all about the 2020 recap. I'm Tris. And I'm Shanice. Okay, let's jump right into the lows of 2020. The year 2020 was definitely one of the most horrible years to date. Coronavirus, which was identified in Wuhan, China, has killed already 1.8 million people and infected around 85 million persons. Besides COVID, quarantine, and curfews non-stop we were hit with earthquakes saharan dust blanketed jamaica there were threats of hornets homeschooling and zoom meetings became the norm visually impaired university of the west indies student jasmine dean went missing jody and Ferron died on a hospital floor right after giving birth there was the untimely passing of kobe bryant chadwick boseman toots hibbert marcus garvey iii brian cummings barry o'hare millie small shahini robinson edward bonnie striker lee football legend Diego Maradona, the murder of an unarmed black man, George Floyd, which rocked the world, five-year-old Mikhail Allen was mauled by dogs, Laden, Tommy Lee, and others got charged, the whole Spice and RT boss saga, along with Major Hype and Kirby. Then I will get this mix up. <laughs> Renita Adams lost his visa two weeks ago. The government imposed a travel ban between Jamaica and the United Kingdom after a new, more contagious variant of the coronavirus emerged in England's southeast. The variant was then confirmed in Jamaica just 11 days later. So we started the year good, went into COVID, and ended with a stronger strain of COVID. Whew, what a year it has been. Ah, uh, boy. I'm playing with you. 
Boy Shan, we had big plans for 2020, but I really think 2020 had even bigger plans for us. Here are a few of the highs we will never forget. The year kicked off with Miley Cyrus settling a 300 million copyright infringement lawsuit by Jamaican songwriter Florigan. Coffee made history by taking home the best reggae album for Rapture, making her the first woman as well as the youngest person to take home this award. Gabriella Morris was sworn in as the nation's youngest senator at age 23. Romaine Virgo's twins took us by surprise, as well as the birth of Olympia Lightning Bolt. So cute. <laughs> Despite the COVID-19 challenges, Jamaican humanitarians came out in their droves and donated toiletries, food, as well as tablets to communities and persons in need. Beanie and Bounty made history and shell the versus battle that was streamed live in Kingston. Big up though to the police officer who stopped by and decided that, hmm, he really didn't want to be that guy. Big up you, sir. Despite the challenges of 2020, social media kept us entertained right through. From Rose and Expert, our Rose and Sander Khan, Pishing Wing Wing, Jamaican Spider Man, Gold God Live, Nico will mash up Amari Life, How will you get this mix up? and Jamaican Michael Jackson, among many others. So, who you really think takes social media for 2020? Is it Nico and Amari, Rose, Expert, and Sander Khan, Pishing Wing Wing, Spice and our spiritual advisor, or Major Hype and Kirby? Let us know what you really feel. Well, that's for another conversation. Check it before you click it because once you hit send, you may be a social Social media high or low. And that's your social media highs and lows recap for 2020. Catch us next Wednesday for What's Buzzing. I'm Tris. And I'm Shanice. Bye. Bye. All right. Of course, there you have it. Social media highs and lows for 2020. So, Tristan Wilson, big up yourself. Shanice Williams, big up yourself as well. Yeah, nice vibe. We'll put in one on social media. Getting a lot of information. Yeah, for sure. For and sure. For sure. Well, you know, one of the stalwarts in the music business, we've had a, a great opportunity to interact with this brother over the years, mm -hmm. with this mega festival, and of course, just a great recording artist. Great artist in his own right. And a great philanthropist and a great mentor for a lot of young talent out there. And we're very glad tonight to have Tony Rebel online with us. I left on last year. I mean, you might Yalla, Bella. Yalla Bella. Welcome Tony to you, sir. Rebel. Where you say, Tony? You know, sir, no, I agree that.
that was one off. Right. That was one off. Right. But there, there, there were, there were. But what was the most? The outstanding moment was 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 when Jeremy and the scholar for come by such a tune and we got under the vibe and it sound like it well tough. You know what I mean? And yeah. Yeah. That's something there, and, and, and we have been making some serious plans, doing all yes. sorts of things, and mm-hmm. and learning a whole lot. There has been, there mm-hmm. has been, there has been a whole lot of, even even since night, there has been an outstanding moment to hear what going in at the White House. No, that uh, is the, that that cool. You mean? <laughs> but I, I, I tell you something, you know, Tony. That's another thing. You have been you have been you have been always doing music, and have always you just mentioned. Uh, about something that you were doing with Donovan Jeremy. Tell us what you're promoting now. What is the latest effort musically from Tony Rell? All right, so let me, just, let, me just, let me just tell you, because this is what 2021 is about. Yeah. That's something that when I promote, I say, come here and I hear your plate. I'm saying, come get, get you to me, Virgin, I'm going to hear your plate. So if you look in your email, and you look at it, name, it, it name, I wonder. So I am just wondering why you're not playing it. Well, well I, I wonder if it's there. I wonder, I wonder <laughs> if, if it's there. 2020 or is it 2021? Mice, it I wonder and the three blind mice with him. And, yeah. and me don't normally like my tune, but me like that one. So I don't know how you don't like it. That's what I'm promoting. Well, uh, well, okay, and uh, well, I'm not easy, you know. So you're yeah, promoting man, that. I mean, I make sure I draw you up in front of everybody. Right? Yeah, but you can't draw. You have to draw us up with evidence, my brother. You may have sent it. Yeah, no, yeah. Say we have it's it. important to follow up, you know. Yes, it's important. And, uh, and as a promoter, oh, extraordinary, yeah. I know you do a lot of following, following up. up. You don't just uh, do a thing. Yeah. You have to follow up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mackie. <laughs> Set that. I need to follow up. Yeah, yes, yes. I don't know. You know, we don't we don't just send things and just let yeah. it stay. You know, we have to. You know, you can't just be a rebel. You have to be a rebel with a cause. There you go. You so, have to be a yalla bella. Yeah. Yalla bella. <laughs> good, good, good. I got you. You got you. <laughs> so we're looking for that. <laughs> All right. I mean, we asked uh, Mr. McKenzie earlier on. We were speaking to Clyde McKenzie earlier on. We asked him, and we're going to ask you, Tony, as well. Uh, what advice would you give the entertainers and, of course, industry insiders going into 2021? Well, the... the, the the instruction or information that I would pass to our one is that it is kind of difficult and, and, and in the entertainment industry because of the shutdown. Mm-hmm. I mean, a whole lot of people don't get to do the things that they wanted to do. As for people who write in music, you can use the time as, you know, you can, it's a very important time for writing. There are so many things that you are seeing and hearing so you could write. You could write a lot, read a lot, get more overstanding as how you're supposed to do your thing. Those who are who are doing things, maybe like promoting and all of this stuff, there are ways and means where you can you can um, learn the virtual aspects of things and how you can monetize it. What 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 COVID does to us is show us that there is no one way of doing things. There are many ways of doing it, and therefore. You, you, you have to be a consummate explorer. When you're exploring any field, you need to know all aspects of it. Yeah. And therefore, yeah. it, is not, it is not a time that has been lost because there are, it, 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 it has created loads of opportunities for people who, who are willing to think. The, the man that has problem is the man that has only one idea. I have only one way of doing something. Mm-hmm. So I would say to the creative industries, I mean, take the time out and, and stop quarrel and stop get bitter and get better in whatever you're doing and, and, and find ways and means. And I mean, when it looks like all oh, your clothes, if you look good, you'll see that many more could be open or if they are already open, it's just for you to step into it. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, it's a time of creativeness. So yeah. deal with your creativity and, 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 and business-like-minded people must know Find other ways and means of, of, of doing business. And, and there are ways and means. There's a, this is a time, now, especially when people listen a lot and people want to see um, things a lot. People are stressed and, 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 and all sorts of negativity are surrounding people. So it is a time also where goodness, inspirational and motivational thoughts, songs, productions are required. People need these things. You know what I mean? Because everybody might come with a big smile for them face and Ray and Ray. But definitely, when people don't get them expectations, they are very disappointed. And disappointment can 
bleed out to stress, and stress can affect you physically, mentally, and all the other alley, and you could get yeah. sick. Yeah. So we are saying that use the moment, and use the moment positively to do things. Don't, don't get carried away with negativity and, and with a despondent vibe because, because you didn't get a chance to do the things that you wanted to do. Because there will be things to do, but you have to make sure that you figure out a way how to do it and do it in a good way. I tell you something, Tony, you couldn't have said it better. And couldn't have said it any better and, at and, all. And it's all about diversification and, of course, thinking outside of the box when you're met with a challenge and you couldn't have said it much no better than how you said it a while ago. Mr. Patrick Barrett, I want to thank you so much, sir. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind if I say pa Mr. Patrick Barrett, JP. Patrick, uh, Mr. Mr. Patrick, Patrick Barrett, Barrett JP, thank you very much, sir. No, my, you hear the mother. Scar me, Lally Bella, no, Yeah, no, just left it right. That's oh, so a Is it Mr. Lally Bella or is it uh, just Lally Bella? We, we, we have to be formalized these days, you know. We have to. Or just Rebel. Uh, or just Rebel. Just call me Rebel, man. Yeah, man. All right, Rebel. Rebel, thank you so much, you know. Big up so yourself, you my brethren. Like, you know me like about Uno tonight. Yeah. You know me like about Uno tonight. You like Uno don't ask me nothing about Rebel Shalit. No, because you know. We, we, you you <laughs> like about ourselves. <laughs> yeah. You know, give you the opportunity not <laughs> to make you mention it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to take the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Go right ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. To all the, all the saluters. Yes. All the fans of Rebel Salute. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Said in the original, in the original time of keeping Rebel Salute, it was all about the people. Yes. And yes. then for twenty-seven years, we did it for the people, and the people did it for us. And definitely, that is the people that, that is who we have in our thoughts now. You see what is happening. Mm -hmm. You understand. We will never, we would never want to be a contributor yes. to, to negativity or anything that could harm you. But you be assured yeah. that you will get some form of rebel salute. There will be a special edition of rebel salute. So look forward, and we'll announce that. Uh, You're yeah. great so here. So Rebel, um, we are we are sneaking at IRFM, IRFM at the number one radio station in the world. Me rebel, me watch me no Rebel. Rebel, watch me no Rebel. Give me a date now. Give me a date. Give me a date. Fifteenth and sixteenth. All right then. All right. So you get a date. All right then. We'll see you on. We, we, we'll see you All right. online. Oh, All right. We we'll see I you want, virtually. I want, I want to tell you, you know there are thousands of email and yeah. all sorts of communication that has. That came through to us. Right. People want to know what we're doing, and everybody's saying that even virtually. But I'm saying every year we do it virtually. I would just want the people to know that. So the people who are calling me, they're ready to do it virtually now. Meanwhile, thousands of people always watching Rebel Salute, millions always watching it yeah. outside of Jamaica. That's true. And that is That's why true. it is always so popular. So it's, it's, it's not anything that is far fetched. Right. Drama. It's just that the focus, yeah, the focus was on the crowd in the audience, but the virtual was always there and streaming yeah, all the over the world. The virtual was always there, man. The virtual yeah. was always there, and me understand the withdrawal symptoms right now. That yes, is, uh, yeah. And the question, COVID fatigue. <laughs> yeah, man. But but we we are going to make sure that the appropriate thing happen and happen where people can be safe. That is the first thing. Yes. And people can full joy. Definitely. Special edition of Rebel Salute. So next week, Friday, and next week, Saturday, 15 and 16. Uh, All, right. All right, Rebel. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. We, 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 Say that one more time, Rebel. I think the connection went there. Yes. Say okay. That. So maybe just one word. We'll give you more details. Wonderful. There you go. Thank Wonderful. you very much. Respect, Tony. Thank you, sir. And, 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 I'll, and I'll send you the song I wonder again. Y yes, I, please. I, and, and you know, your follow up. And your sure follow up, that, please. You know? Thank you very much. Yes. I like the follow up. Yes. All right, Rebel. All the best. <laughs> big up big up yourself, Tony Rebel. Enough love. Rebel. Yeah, yes. man. Respect. Blessings. Blessings. Excuse me, please. You know, I feel look on fish or something from the union. All right, so there you have it, of course. Tony Rebel, Patrick Barrett, government name. You know the settings, of course. Director of Rebel Salute. And, of course, one of the top reggae, roots reggae artists of all time. Is it? Rounded in terms of his portfolio.
back in 2020. But a lot of people would say 2020 is the worst year. But I think 2020 is the realest year mankind will ever see in this generation. You know what I mean? And what 2020 do, from my perspective, is to show people, remind mankind that we've been investing too much short-term goals. For me, 2020 was a year of wins and losses. So last is where the shows are concerned because you don't know we never get for doing a tour last year but we win where production is concerned you see me because my producer um a ep
their management. Career. So yeah, how they've done it. I, 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 um, I am I'm I'm, I'm 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 down to I'm down to coffee, bojo, shensia. Actually, that's me too. <laughs> that's actually it. I'm you into know? that that group there too. Yeah. Um, so so pretty much I would say it has to be one of the three. Yeah. Um. You know, would have to need do a little bit more dissecting, but definitely, um, those three entertainers had had three great. Uh, the three, three three entertainers who did great for the. Year. And uh, when we say great, not just just everything, just rounded in terms of breaking down barriers and doing stuff and, you know, so on. So, yeah. I mm. want to pick up, um, especially we do have a section here. We're talking about the, the philanthropists of the year in terms yes. of the artists who really did a lot of great philanthropic work. And, and persons in entertainment as well, you know. And the, re the regular stalwarts are there. We know the Capleton will always be doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Ramesh. Uh, you know, he donated to a group of teachers and mothers he, and also donated to charities and gave back to children for Christmas. And Shensi, I know, donated a lot of tablets. Also, uh, yeah, tablets. she donated 100 tablets yeah. to Jamaican students. Boji Banton donated laptops to uh, the Sunbeam Boys Home and, of course, the Mount Olivet Boys Home. And, of course, big up to Rodney Price, Bounty Killer, gave out care packages to communities and donated to a child with a uh, disability. I remember that also. And, of course, the Bob Marley Foundation donates educational supplies. The Angel and her son, Mark Dean, delivered care packages and hosted a charity concert. Ding Dong also donated tablets to children of the Nannyville community and, of course, donated to, to students suffering from uh, one and two degree heart to a student in particular uh, yeah, a young lady, um, yeah. who was suffering from the one and two degree heart blockage. And, of course, we were happy that you know they were able to achieve that target. Very quickly because yeah. I think the, the goal was at 10,000 US. That's true. And and they did it. They did it in yeah. because I think don Ding donated the first thousand. There you thousand go. Thousand US then, and it, it just escalated. His crew and then everybody else donated their their amount. You know. Yeah. Downtown Records donated one point five million to health uh, the health ministry to fight uh, COVID nineteen, which was uh, very good. good. And of course, dance hall uh, minister Marion Hall. Uh, provided a warm meal for the less fortunate on Christmas. Dance hall entertainer Pampute, uh, through her single mother foundation, donated a wheelchair to a homeless man living in the streets in Kingston. Usain Bolt hosted a surprise pop in in his uh, Sherwood content hometown. Of course, the Trelawney native and his team drove through the community and distributed toys to the kids and care packages to the adults. And of course, Shelly and Fraser Price gave back to members of her Waterhouse St. Andrew community through her pocket rocket. Foundation, so. And there are several yeah. other persons who basically play their role. I mean, some persons just never, you know, load up or some persons yeah. it never known, but they did their, their thing. And we say, you know, big up to you. And of course, you, you played your role in, in, in whatever shape or form to just help one. Yeah. each and every one, you know? It's always good. That is always a great feeling when you, um, depending on your persona and how you are, mm -hmm. if you're a philanthropic in nature. Right. But once you give back, there's it's always a great, a, thing. a great feeling of satisfaction, a great feeling of fulfillment. It feels good, you know, because, you know, you have yeah. some persons where, you know, which is very sad because we saw this in 2020 where, uh, you know, some persons really give, but when they give, they really give because they wanted persons to be aware that they were giving. And as such, you know, that is not really a good feeling. But they're giving for the wrong reason. Yeah. Because basically, and you have another bad thing that always happens where people give expecting something in return. Absolutely. And they will say, may God do that because they all do this if me do that. No, that's not the reason you give. You give for the satisfaction. You give to help the person and, and progress their situation, especially if you're in a better uh, position than them. And, and, and you know something, if it yeah. is that um, another thing that we can look into is that you have some persons who, you know, they give because, yeah, they did force forgive. Somebody say, yeah, you forgive. And you don't really did want to forgive, but you're giving. No. Nah. Give for the right reason. Yeah, man, for the right reason, man. I mean, you know, to make somebody say, all right, yeah, make you have a force here. I said two times, say, you forgive. No, sir, you must right. take up the initiative. But definitely, um, it was a year indeed to, 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 to say that a lot of persons really reached out, you know? Yeah. It was a reach out year. It was a you know, kind of get closer with family and friends and loved ones. And it was that sort of... No choice. No, you know, no, no choice. choice. It's a pandemic. pandemic. Yeah. You had no choice. You've, you've really had to change everything pretty much in a very fundamental way. Um, you had to be distanced. You had to be um, virtual. You had to be very careful, especially with the people with underlying conditions and age and all of that. It is something that had... It was a 
wicked adjustment in such a short period of time. Definitely. Nine, ten months. Which, the world which, which also I should make mention of the, the students and teachers and parents. Yeah. I mean, I thought that 2020 was definitely a year that, you know, they had to adjust and adjust quickly. You know, yeah. because you know they were there. There was no warning that was given. Yeah. The, you know, everybody things just change. School just stop, and you know, students just know that hey, I went to school last week and I'm not going back now, and I don't know when I'm going back. You yeah. know. Yeah. So it, that was an adjustment for the school system, for the for the education system, for the you know parents. I mean, a lot of parents were you know that was the case when everybody wanted to say, well, and do I have to leave my phone now, or do I get a device or a tablet or whatnot? So you know and. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and and I tell you something, you know, Matthew, In terms of entertainment now, mm -hmm. because we're talking about some of the things that COVID has really affected. Your little bars, your clubs, the con your, man, your, your, the con man, the, 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 the trickle down effect to the little. Well, them still out there, you know, but yeah. they don't have not, the dances. No, not as much, man. The jerk chicken. No, he well the impa, the chicken. Yeah, the only jerk chicken you get is when you grab a chicken and shake him. Yeah, understand. That is jerk. That no nice, none at all. No. Even my little man, we always make sure he get a good park. I'll him, him thing mash up right now. Yeah. Oh, wife yeah. the little man, but yeah, <laughs> he has that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the bread chicken. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I, it, it it has really affected a lot of people, and in terms of. Just your entertainment. I know that there's going to be, well, Tony Rebel was talking about, there's going to be a new way of doing things. People have COVID fatigue, for right. sure, because mm -hmm. they've been locked down for a while. But the virtual is going to grow. But let me tell you, if, when, if and when this pandemic is under control, where we get to herd immunity, mm -hmm. and the people can go back to some semblance of normalcy, trust me, it is going to be a boom. It is. People are going to be so glad to be able to go out and do regular things. Listen, people can't wait. Them people can't, can't wait. Them, them can't, no, them can't wait. Me, them, me can't wait no more. Can't wait. Them, I mean, soon. young persons right now just are wait upon just everything for just go back to normality. I mean, cruise they, ship. Yeah, look at that. Look at that industry. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, hotel but, sector. I mean, you hotels. Know, you know. But, and I want to give kudos to the hotels because with the challenges of COVID, um, it has, they have been very good in diversifying, sanitizing, and there has not really been a spread of any COVID through hotels. None at all. Nice, They've been nice. able to control that. My and aspect of the big up for the hotels is definitely to our locals. Because I can tell you this, you know, 2020, the hotel, them full of locals, you know. And, and, and that would not normally happen. Exactly. Because I'm going to say, eh. All right, me can step out, right? So we are gonna do it. And yeah. We are gonna VK and all the vibe. So we have a big up. We have big up our own locals. We say eh, some things. Everybody turned tourists when right it was possible. You, you want to see them and buy sneakers? Yeah, I want to know. Yeah, man. I'm gonna be a foreigner, man. I'm going into the Tell hotel, it. man. <laughs> <laughs> don't know, man. So where you, where are you going? You're going to foreign new no, man. I'm you know going to mean? Rio, man. You know, go somewhere. What? You, you know, what? Man, I'm saying what? hotel life. You know what I mean? So locals definitely 2020 them go hard when they come on to the hotel thing. You know, them 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 go on good. Them go on good, and they kept that industry. You know. As, as, as best as possible, as much as they could to yeah. be active, you know, because it was a time when we really lost um, in terms of previous years, you know, our, our, our hotel counts. You know, and speaking of loss, mm -hmm. it is something that I had to mention. I mean, dear to me and my family, we want, I just wanted to say condolences to the stewards. Um, um, R.I.P. R.I.P. Gordon Stewart, Gordon Boot Stewart, like a dad to me over the years. He's, um, he, he passed, and of course, his legacy will definitely live on in terms of the empire that he has built because of he, his service orientation. He was always very service-oriented. So he will tell you something like, give them what they expect, but always exceed their expectations. Very good. So right. you're always getting more than what is advertised. And it's also, I, I want to use this opportunity to say that yeah. if you know Bones over these years, yeah. Gordon Boot Stewart is one person who you will find him often imitate. And I'll tell you something. Um, <coughs> um, I'll tell you something. I'm proud of you. Doing a, you're doing a good job. Um, <coughs> <laughs> so I love so, him dearly. You know the, the the voice lives on. You know what the, I mean? The 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 the, the 
you know, he has inspired. You know, when you look at the wide portfolio of things that he has done in his sh in his short seventy nine years yes. on this earth, yes, running a chain of massive hotels, an airline, newspaper, two radio stations, um, private islands in the Bahamas, guest um, villas, and he has so been, many different. Things. And he has just he just doesn't stop. Yeah, man. So, you know, in excursions and so many things. And, and he's always on the plan. And I want to big up my, 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 my broto, Adam Stewart, because he has bring the legacy on. He's, he hasn't stopped. And we definitely want it to continue. We want to big up the whole entire family, Stewart's yeah, man. family. And, of course, condolences. Um, I think his, his body came back to the, the island today. There you go. All right. So um, the well, burial will know about the funeral coming up. But once again, we say condolences to... Yeah. Family, friends, colleagues, yeah. you know. It's, um, he will be missed. Well, you'll be seeing the testimonials. And I mean, I mean, we've seen the testimonials, especially from several Caribbean leaders where there were hotels. Mm -hmm. the Turks and Caicos. Mm -hmm. and Saint Lucia, so many different Caribbean yeah, islands as well. And Antigua. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, he has invested so many, um, so much money in these islands and, you know, create employment. So, and it's entertainment and food and, you know, just nice time. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, Stuart, walk good. Walk good. Rest in peace. Mogul. I call him the mogul. Yeah. The icon. The icon. The All legendary. right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. So, you know, right now we reach the segment Bones, what we call the fashion forward, right? Yes. So, you know, we have to know what's popping in the streets. We have to know what's going on. We have to know what the trend, because, you know, 2021 and all do road not fully open, but we still have a trend even our own place. You understand? Right, right. So, we're going to be linking right now with Shamar Preston and DJ Lollipop, because you don't know them have a bad feature named Fashion Forward, and it happens right now. Catch them outside. It's Fashion Forward, a weekly look into what's popping and what's hot and all. Hip and trendy. It's the space for all things fashion. It's a new year, which means new swag. I am swaggy. New style and a new mindset. Ladies, as we start the year with a bang, how you step out on your first work day should be dope. Your hair. Yes, make sure the ear them look good. You know, I'm like so the nice front of wig there and you will sit down. You know, when you put the wig them put on and look nice. I mean never born in a face week. See still shop a deep. See that my ear? Yeah, 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 you look nice, but on the front of wig this. No, it's natural. Like, see the Brazilian them on the Malaysian, them on the Persian, Peruvian them. We know about ear. <laughs> we know about ear. Anyways, your makeup. Yeah, the makeup now. Yeah, but not too much. Cause you know some lady them wear some excessive makeup and when they ugly up them nasty up all the shirt and them something. It's me and say get in a problem. Lollipop, behave yourself. Your nails. And the nails them now, ladies. Nails look nice you now. Some of them when them short and nice, but they have some long fingernail. They, I don't like to see them long fingernail. What do you think about man? Yeah, here's one of them nice like them just to. But just to them. The one that smudge up. <laughs> Your outfit? Yes, yeah, so, like so the ladies them dress attired come on work, so not overdo it, but you know nice like an outfit. Just tell me say me look nice. You look nice. Alright. So and your shoes. Just fun food and, and like so nice the flat shoes then. You know, you know them you can need shoes eh? Cause some some ladies them tend to wear heels come on work and them can't walk night. Like, why me feel like you dash your one pass my song? No, sometimes them can't walk in the years and so we are so more comfortable, you know. Anyways, ladies, we know you've got this. But just in case you need a little help, we are here for you. Pixie pants are in and they are hot. Whether you pair it with sexy stilettos or flats, you will be sure to rock this trendy hot style. It's a must-have. Enhance your look with the perfect accessory. An exquisite gold or silver necklace with the matching wristwatch is always a plus. Yeah, my likes the pixie pants and like that one. You have on, just bring out the curves and play. You know. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, but ladies, don't go overdoing it now. Keep it simple. Less is more. And please remember to keep your clothes fitted. A fitted fit makes for a popping bod. As for the men, we've got you covered. Men, just be yourself. A nice fit. Some sweet up sweeter, cause us ladies like you smelling fresh. We have a clean and fresh. Don't no, lollipop, like how you look. Yeah, but as I talk about sweet up, sweet up, you know, so one expensive cologne will do the trick more than you put on one bag of couscous. Talk 
também. Mix up, mix up. Can you just talk to people sign us? Talk to me. And some people pass here, they call only after that. Men, rock that hot wristwatch. And remember, walk with a smile. Keep that smile on your face like DJ Lollipop. Whatever the fashion, we've got you covered. Check us out next Wednesday for Fashion Forward. I'm your girl Shamara alongside DJ Lollipop, the party fanatic. See you next week. Like it's winter, M&N, queen for the pizza. Oh, yeah. Fashion forward indeed. Shamara Preston and DJ Lollipop. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You know yep. that something there in a pop. You know that let me smudge up a shirt and them something there. That's not nice. You know what I mean? So ladies, you don't know. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Use that something there. You know what I mean? That spray something there and a good one there. You know, smudge up shirt and them something there. You understand? You understand? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not so fair with the lingo. Huh? What you're saying. Then go the and no man. You know, the matter yeah. about cologne and them something. Oh, no. Because yeah. you keep saying that and something, something. Yeah, yeah. yeah something, something, them know that something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Something, something. Something, something. Yeah, something, yeah, something, something. Something. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. So it's about that time where we take a yeah. quick break. So you don't know. We soon forward. It's the e bus. It's 2021. Stick and stay. Soon forward. For phones, televisions, GPS tracking, chargers, game controllers, software upgrade, and CCT security camera installation. Visit us in Montego Bay or call us at 6303532 or 9716227. Android market sales and services. Innovation comes from all directions. The time is 9.34. All right. Yeah. So we're going to be talking a little bit about, um, the you know, Grammys, different, yeah? yeah, different awards and you know, so on, and of course nominees, nominees and, and winners. winners. Yeah. So y- you mentioned the Grammy, um, you know, nominees for this year, you know, Toots and the Metals, the Whalers, uh, Budra Banton, Skip Marley, that's of course Bob Marley's grandson, and of course Maxi Priest. And of course, the and the winner will be announced on January thirty one. Well, there's an update to this. Really, the 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 the, the, the Grammys is actually postponed, well, and and, and and they have pushed back the awards until March sixteen, I think. Oh well, yes. You know, it's between. I think it's March sixteen that there are March fourteen, but definitely it's, it's in March okay. that um they're going to have the the Grammy awards. Of course, uh, this is as a result of them wanting to make sure that the the, the persons involved, their team, um, you know. When did that update come? That update came yesterday evening. Okay. Yesterday oh, okay. evening. So, 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 so definitely um, the Grammy has been pushed back until March, um, you know, so to just to make sure that everything, the protocols, of course, coronavirus and all these things are, is going on. And, of course, the team will have to make sure so everybody. I think Los Angeles State did some, some yeah. new some new t- different things as it relates to the pandemic and, and yeah. protocols that need to be observed. And this is also one of the things that they factored in to make sure that, you know? Well, what it is that um, California is actually um, the Petri dish or the, what you call the new epicenter for the COVID. The cases are ridiculously high there. So I'm assuming that is one of the main reasons that Definitely so. that would really cause it to be possible. Also, I think in a statement they had mentioned that, um, you know, the... the, the Hospital facilities, the ICUs, and all of these things were you know, bombarded with with persons. Critical and, levels. Yes, they are critical. And levels. as such, they they decided. So new date has been pushed back um, to to be in March. Um, the Grammys. So keep it locked. We tell you some more on this definitely. And also the Mobile Awards, of course, winner Butchie Banton. He was the uh, best reggae act for the right. Mobile Awards. Uh, Coffee Popcorn protege Lila Ike was nominated uh, for the best reggae act, and of course. Um, also nominees for Best International Act were Shinsia Popcorn and Coffee. So big up yeah. to Buj Banton. I mean, he, he was winning everything, you know I mean? Uh, well, you know, he was out for a while, so he's yeah, back yeah. and yeah, he's in my, really... In my claim, you know? In a clean house. In my my clean up. Uh, Pandora nominated Jada Kingdom as artist to watch for 2021. Yeah. And of course, Sean Paul, Vibes Cartel and Popcorn tops Spotify streaming and dance hall for 20. 20. Yeah, the streaming and dance all for yeah. sure. Yeah, man. And of course, Dexter Daps, first time on Billboard Reggae Chart with the album Vent. Yes. Big thing that. And Spice, uh, recent single Friends, got number one on the United States of America and the UK iTunes Reggae Chart. Big things. Also, um, Butcher Banton was the winner for the, 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 the 
festival song for the year. Yeah, yes, um, yes, in, yeah. in 2020. So he was he was copying a, a, a bunch of different things, you know. Well, well, good man, I tell you. Yeah, man, big up to the Gaga man. I mean, let's see come March, right? If he might repeat, you know, his winnings. Uh, streak. Yeah, yeah. Come, come, I think he will. Come, 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 march for the Grammys. Okay, match when he win. Well, I and I win the Grammy, you know. I and I win the Grammy. You know, I mean, you know? making it, making yeah. it. If that was the case, then it would be well, his second time yeah, around. To me, golden up court, my yeah. you know. But he's already a Grammy winner, so you know. Yeah, yeah you still have to talk to him, good. You know, I mean? sometimes I don't hear good, you know, and I think a Grammy, you yeah. you know, but a Grammy, granny. yeah, Grammy, you know. And he's not your mommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, well, I mean, tell yeah. you, that. Entrepreneurship and of course, in spite of COVID nineteen, entertainers got very creative. Yeah, definitely. So, so we're we're gonna dissect it right after we do one, another pre recorded feature. All right, which is the movies. Some more. So you know, it's all about movies. What about thing going with movies? You know, for two thousand and twenty. You know, so make we see what two thousand and twenty one have, and of course, Maisha Brody. We're gonna be touching base because you don't know. So it's all about right now at the movies. Here we go. You have to wait till the movie turn on. There you go. Lights, camera, action. Hey, movie lovers, welcome to At the Movies. I'm Maisha Brody. You love listening to the radio. I also know that you enjoy screen time, whether it's watching your favorite Netflix series or catching up on one of your favorite local films or plays. So stay tuned for the latest movie news. Jamaica Liquor Bot with Talawa. We are known as a set of talented people, making our mark worldwide in any and every field. And we have done it again. This time it is in the film industry with the short film Sweet Rind. This attention grabbing and emotion evoking thriller has an excellent storyline and great production, which have earned it at least eight international awards. The film features a grieving school teacher, Elsie, who is played by Sharando Ferrell, who kid Naps a scammer Alki, played by Kadim Wilson, and uses history and torture as a tool to teach this criminal a lesson. This film had me glued to the screen. It's a history lesson, good entertainment, and motivation all wrapped up in one artistic bundle. The film also stars Jean Paul Menu and Kevor Burton and is directed by Andre Winter. However, it is not yet available for public viewing. But keep your eyes peeled. Plans are on the way to make it into a full length movie this year. Writer of the film, Clinton Roach, gave at the movies the details. Well, right now, we're, we're, we're doing Developing the, the final script has been expanded, so we're working on that at the moment. We're working on the uh, all the different packages, uh, so uh, funding. We do have some funding, but we're all obviously open for more because it can. Well, it will be a big, a big movie, and of such require a lot of um, resources. So I know COVID has actually been an issue, but we're hoping to get things on the road. Hopefully, to start shooting in Q3 or Q4 of this year. That's that's the goal, anyways. Writer of Sweet Rind, Clinton Roach. Still on the movie scene, the new Kingston Drive-In remains open for business. The drive-in was officially opened in October to facilitate moviegoers while observing COVID-19 protocols. The box office opens at 6.15 p.m. And here are our top five movie picks for this week. At number 5 we have Netflix's Marini's Black Bottom. At number 4 this week is no other than The Crudes, A New Age. The Netflix series Tiny Pretty Things takes the number 3 spot. At number 2 we have another Netflix series, How to Ruin Christmas, The Wedding. And in the number 1 spot we have... Wonder Woman 1984. If you love great movies, go ahead and add these to your watch list. But if you are venturing out to cinemas to watch these movies, don't forget that safety is important. So here are some safety tips. Always wear a mask, which must only be removed when eating, and maintain physical distance. That's a wrap. Join us next week for more exciting movie news. For At The Movies, I'm Maisha Brody.
Thank you so much, Maisha Brody, of course. At the movies, you don't know the team. I feel like say a movies thing. Speaking of movies, you know, what mm. one? Want to the drive through movie something, man. What one? Yeah, 2021, you know, I mean. Sorry, my brother, Netflix yeah. and chill. You know what I mean? It's Genoa home star. thing for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, but they started, they, they, they actually tested it where they wanted to do the drive-in movie mm, thing yeah, with, yeah. based on the fact that a lot of persons weren't able to go to movies, like physically going right, to the movie so theater. Driving and social distance. Yeah, so Cars are apart. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But my question now, 2021, well, put things in the making. But yeah, thank you so much, Maisha Brody. At the movies, of course, interested indeed. Yeah, man. Mm. Entrepreneurship. Yeah. So we're talking about um, people, you know, who have done some great things, even with the COVID nineteen being in the mix. You know, you know, Definitely. and entertainers who got really very creative. Uh -huh. So Spice started a clothing line called Gracie Noir. Is it Noir? Yeah, or or is it Grassy Noir? Uh, Grassy Noir. Grassy Noir. Grassy Noir. <laughs> yeah. And of course, the collection caters to male, female, and unisex, which would be both anyway. Yeah. Of course, which includes uh, t-shirts, tracksuits, bodysuits, and dresses. Yeah. And of course, you don't know for the females, you don't know Shensia has a lash line. Yeah. She has uh, two packages, lighter and extra. Each package comes with uh, three lashes, tweezers, lash applications. Cater, glue, and all you know, so the female them something this, yep. um, technical bad, yeah, you know, say boy, mm -hmm. you know, Sandrika, you know, she, you know, she trying them to have them lash something, you know, but I don't know what I'm going to say, but yeah, it's the lighter package, and of course, we wasabi? understand what wasabi is there for play because she named them off of the songs, them in a lighter, yeah, um, the extra pack has, I would really that them go. Pack has uh -huh. Sanjay, you want to say man, no, sir. You want to say good, good comfort. Time. I don't know what I go to say, but anyway, yeah, baby girl and them something, but yeah, the lash them have all up on name and some all up on something, you know the thing. Wow, but are the female them something, you know what I mean? Definitely. And you don't know for the males, them, you know, you can buy a girl if your girl into lashes and them thing, you know what I mean? Some nice lashes, you know and I mean? of course, it's eyelashes, yeah, you know. Yeah, but lashes could mean a good spanking, also, yeah, you, you know, know what that, right? So, and some course. people can pick up things with them lashing at all, like it is, you know. And <laughs> yeah, man, some, some of them something to go on in 2020, you know. Well, but, yeah, you man, know. some lash way out, so. You know, I, so the other day I was, I was hearing somebody. Yeah. So you, you have a lady who have on fake lash. Yeah. Fake hair. Yeah. Right? Fake nails. Fake wells. A fake rump. Yeah. And, and she then, want a real and, relationship. And they want a real man. You know, that's not that <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> come you know, on. You know, you're, you're, it you're, don't you're, work you're, like that. You're faking it. You're faking it. You know, so, you know. <laughs> like you're making it. You know, what, what is going to come with it? You know, you're putting fake in the universe. <laughs> that's right. Easy, you know. Yeah, it's that. Yeah. So, Macadamon also released a clothing line called Simi Macadocious. No, sir. And also, Baby, Baby Sham, Sham launched his winter clothing line as well. Yeah, well um, I man. think it's Lawless. Yeah. Lawless. Well, yeah. Yeah, we so, so I'm going well, to launch something. Yeah, well, well, I'm going to a rocket, sir. You know what I mean? A beer thing's launch, you know. You know what I mean? So, yeah, a lot of persons started to doing, um, you know, major things. Um, big up to Rita. She did her, you know, um, lipstick and eyelash and all them something. Too. So, well, mm -hmm. things are going on. Um, so many persons doing stuff. And... 2020 was a year where, you know, them usually said the elders, them always say, take you and turn fashion, you know. But well, you had to. Yeah, you know what I mean? Some things. No choice. I want to let's say, I want to big up them peeps the who, you know, when them when 2020 start or, or this whole pandemic start, them decide say, eh, even though layoff go on or even though this now work or it for work, you know, may I start make some mask. So big up them people that would start the mask thing, you know. On a level where everybody did, you know, everybody did just say, all right, we'll sell some masks and get the thing up and running. And, you know, yeah. I think one of the, 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 one of the most innovative things that I saw people do was when the, when the masks were just proven to help prevent the spread. Yeah. I saw some very talented young ladies started mm -hmm. making customized masks. Right. With your name on it. And yeah. Brand and, you yeah. know. And it was a real hit real quick. Absolutely. So we want to congratulate people who actually move quickly when they see an opportunity. Um, and, of course, we have some highlights here. Some highlights for 2020. Yeah, or Popcorn, that happened. Yeah. Tw yeah. yeah. Popcorn featured on Waves, Wave magazine. He also made Obama's playlist with a song from his... Um, is that fixed tape? Yes, yeah, fixed tape. Yeah, it, yeah it's, um, so them call him a mixed tape. Trouble, All right. Also, Trouble Daddy? Yeah. Trouble. Coffee made uh, Michelle Obama and President Obama playlist. 
and she's also a brand ambassador for Nike, Jordan, Unite campaign. She was also featured on MasterCard and H&M, Bring On The Future Holiday ad campaign, among many other things. Boy, Malta, Ma Wally Patin, we said MasterCard, yeah, we did. Yeah, so many thing. things, so many things. Shensia Lance deal with Boom Energy Drink, and she also also the newest ambassador for popular um, popular clothing company, Pretty Little Thing, and her son got signed to Chubby. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, Skilly Ben got signed to Sony slash ATV, you know. And Leela Aike got signed to RCA. Masika signed to Dragon. He got an uh, ambassador deal. That's great. And of course, Sean Paul, Vibes Cartel, and Popcorn, top Spotify streaming in dance hall. And Butch Banton hosted a live listening event on his official YouTube channel, followed by a live launch on IRFM on Friday, June 26th of 2020. And that went well. Yeah, and then we got those. So those are some of the highlights. We got some of them who get themselves in some legal Some problem. legal woes happened for entertainers in 2020. Mm, yeah, like um, uh, Uncle Dean. Uh, mm. Boy, mm. Tommy Lee Sparta Sparta. got arrested and charged with possession of illegal firearm. <sighs> Tommy, man, what happened to you, youth? Tommy, sure. Tommy, really and truly, Tommy. John, you know, on a serious note, Tommy. I oh, really yeah. met that that really go on if I really say with all what you go through over Tommy, the years. Tommy with the amount of things we go on, Tommy. No, Tommy. And then you know what? As you go from Tommy, you just want to go straight to Ladin and cause Ladin him got to got sentenced to four years. Why the man take a gun for once the again sunroom. illegal possession of firearm and also ammunition. You know, technically uh, never really possess it, you know, can fling it to it. <laughs> fling it through the sunroom. <laughs> But, but, no, it. no, but we'll <laughs> man, mad, man, yeah, no, man. but based on, 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 on what happened is that the the, uh, the officer yeah. found it. Yeah, no. And and, and, and put it back. Put, put it his back position. and say, take this. <laughs> you know, this is what you threw out. <laughs> and I, we found yeah, it. Yeah, so we found it. So yeah. That was crazy though. So and, yeah, you know, that was crazy. And of course, Dexter Daps was charged with assault, uh, occasioning grievous bodily harm. Resisting arrest and using indecent language. Why, I tell you, what was this? Was this? I get. I think that this is like 2019. You know, I, I mean. Yeah, it looks similar. Yeah, it, 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 it definitely. You know, it it. I know there was a situation with the um the the Zozo operation that, that, I know. that Dexter was involved in in 2020. Right. But uh, this situation, I think it was in the latter part of 2019. Well, and this elephant man thing was was the was, elephant thing was, was definitely 2020. 2020 yeah. It happened in the um, in, early in, part. In, in the in, of course he just to make mention elephant was charged to be forced into to be forced into COVID 19 quarantine facility because he with allegedly <laughs> lied or did not make mention of. His travels. The, 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 all the places he went. <laughs> we can't say, well, imagine, say, where are you coming from? <laughs> you know, say, I find me, I find me, I come from in a scissor. Scissor, so you don't know. No, so me, they come <clears> through <throat> Germany when I time yeah. still. But <laughs> so me, they kind of, they sleep still. Me, they remember them, they go through Belgium. Right, scissor. One of the time, it's me. And then, you know, the ragged king come through and say, oh, him, oh, him <laughs> got through. How long are we going to see him, please? <laughs> Jado. <laughs> 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 you talk too much, sir. That means that. No, <laughs> no, really. So because and, you said, Ellie, you wish me happy New Year. And I want to tell you, said this is actually still before the courts. I mean, he's still, you know, the, the, the court still, quarantine. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's so. there's whole uh, there's whole point entertainers. I mean, scheduled to make court appearances in 2021. <laughs> yeah, because um, you know, so it's been held back. As know. a matter of fact, even other entertainers includes like actor and club proprietor Garfield Bad Boy Trevor, who, who was arrested and charged after a police team raided a pool party being hosted by hey. him at a plantation <laughs> drive in Saint Andrew in, in March. Um, oh, so you know, after them tell everybody say. You know, don't keep no party, don't keep no event. No event, no permit is granted, no nothing at all. It's alleged that bad bad boy Trevor just decided to have him like a pool party. Hey. You know? You know, Trevor cannot be controlled. A long time, you know Trevor you know. You know Trevor story. probably about twenty years ago. And you know. he's always in can control himself. So look, Trevor, twenty twenty one, behave yourself. Let's try to be yourself for this year. And, uh, you know... Let's hope they have the, the COVID vaccines get out and get out early this year because we need to get some form of, some form of normalcy back. It's, it's hard. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. If the yeah. rollout has been slow, we realize that England is on a serious lockdown now. And of course, well, because of a variant strain mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. COVID. And of course, there's another variant in Africa. Yeah. So this is something that we really need to get a handle on. And I hope that it doesn't affect the, the workings of the vaccine. You think, you think persons now are, I mean, having gone through 2020 with COVID-19 and, mm -hmm. and, and somewhat getting a, a little bit familiar now with the, 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 the virus, do you think persons are, 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 are a little bit more skeptic of, of how worse it can be? Or is it that you think that we have passed the that 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 stage that stage the thing that i'm concerned about is that the 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 worry or the skepticism is with the new variant mm -hmm. it is said to be about 50 to 70 percent more contagious mm -hmm. um and then we don't know the efficacy of the vaccines against it yet they're saying that it should be all right but they really don't know and they don't they know really, right. tell them do the thing so um People are now at the point where I'm seeing them. They're, they're fed up. Mm -hmm. And they want to see family. They want to do this. And sometimes they're putting safety out the window. Mm -hmm. No, that has to stop. Because if you see the, the death rate, is, I mean, the United States is averaging 2,700 people a day. That's a lot. Death. That's a lot. And, and 100 to 200 cases per day. 100,000. You know, 100 to 200,000 cases per day. So it's a lot. And so we really have to take it seriously. Um, and of course, one of our friends, Mr. Robinson, I think Shaheen's husband. Yes, definitely. He, he just, he died from COVID. Yeah, Tyrone Robinson. Tyrone, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tyrone um, died from COVID complications recently. So, so many entertainers and persons involved yeah, in, 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 in this in industry who passed on, yeah. like we mentioned in the beginning of the show, uh, in regarding to COVID-19. Um, so we're still on the entertainers with legal woes. Of course, uh, George Nooks was arrested for cocaine and will return to court come January 13. And the Babs Cartel trial update. Yeah. Uh, so I know that he's privy council. Privy council. Yeah. That's his last chance now. So I'm happy. But I hope. Uh, right. They said they know. No, sorry, they said no. Yeah, they said they. I yeah, mean, that, that, that gone through, I've done it done. Any card playing at 2021, I just they said thing that. But. Right, this said, yeah. Big up yourself, my brethren, Adija. But I mean, know you listen to the radio regular, so big up yourself. I know you're locked on. Uh, uh, oh, big up all of the people in the radio land to lock in, you know what I mean? So, you know, as we say, big up to them people, I think it's only fair at the beginning of the year, you mm. know what I mean? Figure the opportunity to the people who always are listening to eBuzz, you know? Yeah, so you we just make a call in and check in. and Call, you know? 974 504 5041, 974 or 614 Let's hear it, brother. Let's hear Carlin, it. Carlin, open the phone lines right now and talk to some peeps. You know what I mean? Let them the... know what's happening, eh? Yes, it. It's yeah. the e buzz. And of course, the beginning of 2021, the very first program indeed, we just gave you the recap of 2020. Yeah, so many very interesting happened. year it yeah. was, I tell you. Very interesting very, year. Very, very eventful year. Eventful, I must say. And. We just encourage persons, just, I mean, just play your part. Just, you know, just exercise all the protocols and, you know, just do your part. I mean, it, it, it sounds a way, and I mean, a lot of persons think that, hey, you know, them don't personally lose anybody close to them, so they feel like everything is okay. No, yeah. it's not. Link yeah. up with the people who are really losing a loved one because of COVID-19, and then you realize it's a different level, and then just observe and watch and see what's happening right now in the world. One of the things that we'd like to, let, to implore people is to not think about yourself. Think of others also. You know you went somewhere risky. Don't expose your friends and your family members to COVID. If you know you were at, exposed at some point, yeah. don't go there. True, true. Big up to DJ Lollipop. You don't know. I think we have somebody on the phone line right yeah. now. Buster Caller, you're live. Welcome. Happy 2021. Yeah, man. Please, let me burn it, DJ boy. Where are you, man? Happy New yeah, Year. Yeah, man. Whoa! 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 Yes! Yeah, man. Quote the map. What are you dealing with? Yeah, man. You got it locked. I'm going to tell you, man. Yeah, man. Happy New Year to all the RFM staff. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, man. See him, so give thanks. See him to you, my boss. Yeah, man. Always a keep it locked. That's what I'm going to say. Shaka Warrior. Yeah, man. You From Philadelphia. Yeah, me I tell you, drive the Toyota Harrier. Whoa, kick down one of friends and drop down barrier. Whoa. <laughs> Are you doing a hang around a winner at Tarrier? 
You don't know our music for inspire you. <laughs> you know, man. All right, we're not rhyme out the whole night, but you don't know. Big up yourself, <laughs> you and you don't know. Part, you know. Thanks for always playing a role in in the e buzz from from them time there until now and twenty twenty one. Come all it same way. Yeah, man, I go and blaze it same way. Red or buck? Yes, I say. Buck off. No button. Yeah, man, you don't know quote no man. You don't know tune in every Saturday morning from breakfast party. Loud and proud. There you go. Yeah, man, I like the crowd. All right, sir. All right, sir. Say it loud. Big up yourself. Yeah, man, you don't know. Keep a distance. You see what I say? Yes, sir. In a social yeah, man, style. Yeah, man, go and do the right thing. You see what I say? Yeah, Same, man. sir. Thank you. Yeah, man, because Kobe is still around. You see it? Of course. Shaka Warrior, big up yourself every time. Yeah, my daughter, Shamaya, and bless up my Empress Janet. You see what I say? After. All right. Yeah, man, the whole of Brownstone lock in. You see what I say? Same, sir. Yeah, Respect. man, bless up MC Teddy. All the time. Yeah, man, run a cap or shop. So bless up my virgin friend, too. All right, yeah, man. I'm a virgin belt. Yes, I'm a say. Dig up yourself. No flow. Yeah, man, bless it, make me burn it. All right. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Dig up yourself. Whoa. Yeah, man. Yeah, number one again. Yes, I'm a say. All right, cool. Big up yourself. All right, so enjoy the rest of your evening. All right, and you're done now. Thanks for calling, okay? Thank you, my brother. We have a final caller. One more caller. Bust through caller. You're live. Caller, you're caller, live. Caller, you there? Yeah, man, we hear the caller. You're there. Caller, bust through. Bust through. You're live. You're live. See it there. See it there. Move yeah. on. Quote me, man. Well, go on. Blessings. Welcome. Happy 2021. Well, you know how this is going? You're going to tell me. Yeah? You're going to tell me who? Biggest mix. Listen, we have in a moko. Now, moko Clarendon? Yes. Let me see now. I know, you know, I know moko Clarendon, but I know who me at all. You have to go tell me. Raga? Oh, yeah. A raga that? Rest man. Raga? See full, the raga? Yeah. Full of swagger? Yeah. Big up yourself, raga. Big raga up, and a raga up. the bus driver? Taxi driver. Raga, I taxi man, driver. Man. Yeah, man, a raga. Right, cooler, man. Big up yourself, yeah, raga. Man, yes, my boss. Have a big you up. Yeah, man, the taxi driver, raga for a muck, man. All right, yes, big up man. yourself every time, man. Big up on yourself, quote the Mac. Happy New Year to the boy. Yeah, man, blessings. Yeah, r- blessings. blessings. Every night, every Wednesday night, I listen to the boys, man. Enough love in a raga. There. Respect and manners. I'm a top fire here, fam, man. And I'm a car and I'm a house. Ben Namos. Nice. They said for there. Not true. I'm here on that table of ice cards. It's tomorrow and birthday. See it there? Yeah, man. So now, nah, big him up for your birthday, man. Big up, big him up, man. We're going to play a cartel. All right, since as you did, we do want to wait till tomorrow still, but if you want to do it from now, then you know the date. Yeah, because you're full for him for true, so yes. Big him up, Raga. Yeah, man. Big up Vice Cartel, man. Big up the whole of Moko. Big up the yeah. whole of Moko. Big up the whole world. Big up everybody where I go and listen. Big up the people where I sleep right now. Big up my baby mother. Big up everybody. See Big up IRFM to the world. See to the it, world. Sir. Respect, yeah, Raga. Respect All right, Raga, right enough. Big up. You see it? Yeah, man. Yeah. Thanks, right. Raga. Big every respect. time, every well, time. time, pretty much. So also. it's about that time, Bones. I mean, of course, once again, this has been the program for this evening. We did the uh, recap in terms of putting 2020 in perspective. And of course, we nope. couldn't, have, couldn't have done it without our uh, extraordinary team. We want to say very special thanks to Clyde McKenzie and Tony Rebel who came on and just um, gave us their perspective on the year 2020. Definitely so. Big up to, uh, once again, uh, all the persons who made the features possible, including uh, Tristan Wilson and Shanice Williams in terms of having social media highs and lows. Also, we have to big up uh, once again to, you know, of course, the chart. We did a chart recap, myself and DJ Brian. And, of course, we also had our... Fashion forward, Shamar Preston and DJ Lollipop, big up yourself every time. But big up the team tonight. Also, we have to big up Maisha Brody as well for the movies. Big up the team tonight also. I want to say a special thanks to Sandrika Masters. Our producer for this evening, Sandrika Masters. Big up yourself every time. Technical operator will be DJ Lollipop. And of course, I want to say a special thanks to our telephone operator, Karen Karen Thomas. Thomas, Big up yourself. And Peter Broadband. Peter Broadband Social Media. Enough big up, of course. So, once again, thank you so much. This has been the eBuzz. My name is Courtney Mack. And I'm DJ Bones. Join us next week for another exciting of the e- exciting edition of the eBuzz. Muta Baruka is up next with The Cutting Edge. We out. We out. Moving forward. Today, tomorrow, together. Staring to the future.